Hello YouTubers, my name is Matthew, welcome to another episode of Frugal Finance's portfolio update. So just a super quick one here. Um, so basically the last week has been a bit of a mental run on things, um, mainly due to uh, Lucid Motors. So as you'll see here they have gone on an absolute rally. Uh, whether that is sustainable or not, only time will tell. Um, but average buy cost uh, for me at twenty two dollars seventy seven seventy two sorry and currently trading at fifty five dollars twenty two so massive return of one hundred and fifty one percent and uh, a net return of five thousand six hundred and sixty three so we'll come back to that in a second um, but if you do the kind of one month view or one week view sorry of Lucid, you can see it went from uh, about a hundred percent return to a hundred and fifty percent return, back down to a hundred percent return, back up to hundred and fifty percent return. So, not a particularly stable uh, week, although obviously the end result was pretty high. Um, the overall portfolio is sitting at twenty-eight point two two percent profit, uh, which is seven thousand. Uh, 265 but if you minus the lucid profit off of that at 5600 you pretty much come in at about 1800 pounds which obviously uh, against the uh, sum invested of 25,000 pounds isn't quite 10 percent it's about seven six or seven percent return so pretty average for market rate uh, Apple's been on a bit of a run in the last week because there was talk about them possibly producing a car and also they've got this new thing in where you have a right to repair the phones so that that will be quite good for them um, you know for, for future customers and so on but um, you know obviously it's uh, caused the stock price to go up about eight percent in a week uh, American Spes has uh, lost a little bit of value but relatively stable Coinbase, uh, we're looking at about a 43% return. PayPal and Robinhood have taken massive hits. Uh, PayPal, uh, obviously, they're going to look into going into the crypto space and so on, and I think they've missed some earning calls. Again, same with Robinhood uh, as well. It's actually below now their initial IPO price, so their IPO price was back here somewhere. Uh, if we can just get the the market to stop on at thirty five dollars, it's now twenty nine dollars. So a bit of a shame for them, um, but I do believe in it uh, long term. I'm sure it will come back round uh, and be back profitable again. Obviously, it's in highs of up here about fifty five dollars. So um, hopefully, we will get back to that. Tesla, obviously, there's been a bit of a sell off after Elon decided he was going to sell some of his shares. Uh, but actually uh, it's sort of steadily recovered uh, to some degree. Um, you know, obviously it was an initial crash down here and then it's kind of got back up to about half of what it lost really. Uh, S&P 500, uh, pretty much the biggest holding excluding Lucid. Uh, that's only overtaken this in the last week. Um, that in itself has just been a pretty steady upward uh, climb over the last uh, few months or so. Um, since we put uh, uh, investments into it. <coughs> Sorry about that, got a bit of a uh, sore throat. It's not the dreaded C, uh, but just uh, probably just a bit of burning the candle at both ends, to be honest. If you have a look at any of my other videos, you'll see I'm quite busy with various property things as well. So that is, uh, you know, probably worn me out a little bit. Anyway, so that's uh, pretty much an overview. The actual pie itself is not doing particularly well. I think a lot of the holdings in here have suffered on this recent tech sell-off, uh, and some of them are quite big losses in terms of percentages. Um, some of them obviously got good gains, but overall uh, not not particularly good returns. It did get up to about a 10% uh, profit on that one, but we're down at sort of 1% at the moment. Um, I've actually uh, maxed out my ISA at the moment, um, so in order to have any uh, play uh, with anything else, uh, probably look, if anything, to get rid of some of this money out of the ARC Innovation Pie, look at possibly reinvesting it and dollar cost averaging down with PayPal and Robin Hood. So, 
that is the portfolio update as you can see the biggest holding group is lucid at the moment followed by the vanguard uh, that's really only because of this uh, sort of massive run in the last uh, week or so so yeah you can see here what i thought was quite interesting um you probably just about see it on your screens but around this kind of uh, up here you can see there's a kind of a sort of a line a very faint line uh, you can probably see it clearer there that is the line uh, of the portfolio in terms of um, the faint line is actually what you've invested and then the blue line is your profit which I thought was quite good because you can see if you kind of look at the year one you can see I pretty much throughout the year only really had a very small profit barely getting above kind of seven or eight percent at the best and then this rocketed bit at the end here where it's obviously the steep curve um in the last few months um that's probably a better view here on the three month one because it's really started to kind of disconnect itself from the portfolio obviously i could look at selling lucid and cashing in some of those profits which I'm, i might do i'm not too sure yet um but yeah I, overall uh, pretty happy so if you do like the video please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button uh, comment down below see how your portfolio is doing um, and uh, yeah I shall see you next time